Hey guys, it is Emery, and I wanted to show you a project we've been working on this week. Uh, we've been working on making sure that our fencing gets up properly, um, and I'm going to show you what kind of fencing we use here. So here at Goat Milk Stuff, we use something called Cattle Panel, um, which is this um, large square um, panels that we can attach to T-posts. So what we'll do is we will drive all of the T-posts. Um, we tend to drive uh, two, or we tend to drive three or four um, per panel, which is a 16-foot panel, um, and it is four feet high. Um, the the T-posts are six-foot T-posts that we pound in, um, and then we will attach them using these wires. Um, so these wires go on here, and they clip around, um, and then they'll wind back, and that's what's going to keep the fencing up. But it works really well for keeping our goats in. Um, the reason it works so well is that we can take it down and we can move it when we need to. Uh, we do a lot of moving our pens around. Um, this is one that's going to be up hopefully long term, but if it's not, we'll be able to take it down quickly, pull up the T-posts, and move it to a different area. That makes it a lot more cost effective um, because we go through a lot of pastures, and we like to do a rot um, a rotating pasture um, techniques. So we like to switch out different pens so that the goats are on different areas. This will help a lot with our worm burdens. The different worm burdens are going to um, affect the goats and they actually live in the soil. So by having um, well, I actually live on like the grass and stuff. Um, but by moving the goats around to different pens, we can go ahead and uh, make sure that we are getting rid of as much of that worm burden so that the goats can stay nice and healthy. So uh, this is just a large gate here that we have. Um, we just have it carabinered on both ends, um, and it works pretty well. This one is specifically large um, because this is where we're going to put the tractor through uh, to get into the hay field. Um, so that's why it is so large. Um, another thing you might notice is that all of the T-posts uh, we make sure are on the far side so that uh, any pressure that the goats put onto it, um, pushing up on it like this, uh, will be able to be supported by not only the uh, wire clips that we wrap around, but also the T-post uh, there. So that's just a small taste of how we do all of our fencing here at Goat Milk Stuff, and I figured I would share that with you, and I hope you learned a bunch, and I'll see you guys next time.